Hi, this is David from Elementa, and in this tutorial I will show you how to add share buttons on WordPress using Elementa's new share buttons widget. This widget lets you add many customizations and styles to your sharing buttons. Here is the list of the share buttons. You can click on a button and choose one of the social networks on the list. And you can also add a custom label. Below that you have the option to add more buttons and change the order of the buttons. Next you have view which you can change to show icon and text, icon and text. You can hide the label and you can display the sharing counter. For now it's showing zero because the page has not been shared yet. Next we have the skin which lets you choose from five different options. Gradient, minimal, framed, boxed icon or flat. Below we have the shape option. You can choose square, rounded, or circle. Now columns by default are set to be auto, which lays out the buttons in line. You can choose the number of columns that will display the button. It can be 1, 2, and so on. On mobile, this can look a little bit cramped. This is why you can go to the mobile option and set it to your desired column layout. You can choose one, two. You can also set the alignment. Notice that alignment works only when auto is set in the columns. Now by default, the button will share your current page, but you can also create a custom link to be shared. This allows your visitors to share a different page. So for example, if you're creating a landing page, visitors will be able to share the home page of the site instead of the landing page. Now let's go over to the style tab. Now in these options, you can change the style of the share buttons. You can go to columns gap and set it to be more wider. You can set the rows gap if it's Set on two. You can set the button size. You can set the icon size and the button height. You can also set your custom color by clicking on custom color. You can choose this color and the secondary color and you can go over to hover and do the same. Next you can turn on the typography and set the style for the text. I hope you enjoyed our video. For more videos and tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.